Nneka Adesanya is a caterer and blogger living in Lagos. Today she is preparing jollof rice, a dish popular through West Africa. Jollof rice caused quite a stir on social media recently after British celebrity chef Jamie Oliver posted his own interpretation of the dish. And we had to make jollof rice the Nigerian way. All right, I'm sure a lot of us, you know, read and saw what um, Jamie Oliver made. So I'm here to make my own Nigerian jollof rice in my beautiful small kitchen. So we have all the ingredients here. We have our granola oil, we have the tinned tomatoes, we have onions, we have curry, it's optional, but I like to use it. We have thyme, we have salt, and I have my stock cubes, and most importantly, pepper. And our rice, the raw rice that we're going to use in making our jollof rice. Jamie's version of jollof rice had been up on his site for a few months until Africans began to post comments on the chef's blog. The recipe attracted over 4,000 comments across social media, with many criticizing Jamie's recipe for including whole vegetables and ingredients like coriander, a lemon wedge, and parsley. Twitter users even labeled the scandal at jollof rice. Some analysts felt there was more to the controversy than anger of a change of spices and condiments. Like in the past, Africans were alienated from who they really are. Their cultures were diffused. But today we're beginning to appreciate who we really are. And for a foreigner to come in and tell us, this is my recipe for jollof rice, something that's staple in this part of Africa, it was like denting our own image and stealing our identity from us. And Africans had to stand up and tell him. This isn't right. This isn't the best way to do it. You should have made your research. You should have consulted us to tell you the right way to go about it. So I'm putting in the stock cubes. Then we sprinkle some salt. But Neka, who runs a food company called Kakalicious, supplying ready-made meals to working mothers too busy to cook, says Jamie Oliver's twist to the recipe was simply his own version and should not be viewed in negative light. I think his version was his version, and our version would remain our version. So for Jamie Oliver, I would say he, he just wanted to be creative, and I think his creativity just played out somewhat in his food, so I can't exactly judge him and say it wasn't fantastic, you know. But, I mean, our own way of making jollof rice is way different. The key to great testing jollof rice, Neka says, is to make sure all the ingredients are blended in with the rice. My rice and stir well enough. Ensure the pepper, the rice, everything is well incorporated so it doesn't, you know, just stay on one part. Just have the rice, everything together. And finally, the food is ready, controversy forgotten. Neka and her husband settled down for their meal, enjoying jollof rice that she had just prepared as so many other families across West Africa continue to do every day. Kofam Renje, CCTV.